Alright guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is going to be an unboxing of the all-new Team Orion Vortex R 8.1 Pro Speed Control. This is their top-of-the-line 1.8 scale speed control that is both censored and brushless. Now this thing packs a lot of punch in a very small footprint, and I chose this particular ESC for a new project I'm working on that is a 10 scale vehicle, but has the weight and the looks of an eight scale truck. So um, I do have this thing paired with the new VST2 Pro 690 sized eight scale motor, and I can't wait to see how these things uh, really perform. So um, being a huge fan of the 10.1 Pro, um, it just made sense to go ahead and pick up this R8.1 Pro uh, for a new build. Now this thing is completely programmable using a separate optional programming card and there's lots of different parameters that you can set on this thing. Now really quick let's go around the box here and we'll kind of see what's included in here and then open it up later on and see what you get inside the box. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the plastic wrap so it doesn't kind of glare at us as we look at it. Now one thing that um, this speed control is capable of up to 4S LiPo so you can run pretty much 2S to 4S um, eight scale racing, compact size, machined aluminum case. I mean, this thing just basically has all the bells and whistles you'd want from a premium ESC. Uh, exclusive cooling design and dual sensor port, which is really nice for wrapping your wires a particular way in almost any vehicle. So um, on the flip side over here, some of the specs here, this is a 180 amp ESC and has a um, a uh, full rating of 860 amps, so uh, pretty well um, budgeted as far as power. Um, it, it takes two or four pole censored or sensorless motors, um, has two different function modes, forward brake and also forward brake reverse, um, capable of up to 2700 kV motors. I'm running a 2100, and like I said earlier, 2S to 4S LiPo, adjustable uh, BEC, that's 6 volt, up to 7.2 volt and a 5 amp max. Very small size and a quick part number that will be in the video description. On the back side here just some more great information and let's open this thing up. So um, as with all Team Orion boxes, very nice box, uh, very Apple-esque in design. It's kind of a sleeve right here that it slips out of. Very nice and that nice kind of white ghost flamed uh, Team Orion badging on all five corners actually and this is the perfect sealed box there we go first thing we get here is a register your product we get some Team Orion stickers an instruction manual that's actually pretty thick about a good I don't know eighth of an inch thick manual that's gonna go straight in my pit bag for a quick reference they do have an ABC wire order right here, which is normal for any censored setup. Flip side over here, just some more warnings and whatnot. And there it is. God, this thing is small. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this thing out. Kind of hides all of the badness in there. Now, one thing that I really like about some of the new Team Orion um, ESCs is they've blacked out all the wires. And they did this because a lot of the racers just kind of wanted that stealth look. They didn't want the look of multiple color wires or uh, wires that had different type of color codes. So um, really nice that they did that, kind of listening to the racers. I'm going to go and try and get all of this out of here. We're going to do a quick measure of some of the wires that's included and kind of go from there. So right here we do have an adapter. This is a um, receiver to a sensor wire adapter. I believe this is for uh, programming. I might be mistaken, I've kind of slipped my mind there. And here is that ESC. Very nice stealth look here, all blocked out. Aluminum casing, I can feel the coldness right now of the aluminum. Right here, it looks like it does come with actually a Dean's plug already assembled on it, so very nice. I love how they do this bright red um, kind of identifier here for the red or the hot side of the wire. Very nice that you do that in a lot of their ESCs. This thing is uh, movable, so if you want to shorten your wires, you can do so. Right here on the battery leads, you have about 8 inches of wire. 
um, on the motor leads, which are labeled A, B, and C, and do have the uh, four millimeter adapters on there. I'm gonna go ahead and solder straight on, so I'm not gonna need those. Let's see what we get on those. Those are about, uh, I would have to say about nine inches, a little bit longer than the, um, the leads for the battery. Now you do have that big four um, capacitor little block right here. Nice that it's outside of the motor that you can kind of, or outside of the ESC, kind of mount this um, elsewhere. Looks like the gauge of wire on here, 12, ah, 16 gauge wire, so not bad. Over here you do have a blacked out um, on off switch and also a programming switch right there. Nice big red button, carbon looking uh, button, but actually pretty large. So um, probably about half inch by three quarter inch and sits about half inch tall. So quite a large switch right there. And as far as the uh, receiver lead, this thing is huge, um, 14 inches or so, uh, very long uh, blacked out lead. Really nice again that they're not using the white black uh, kind of uh, different uh, wire. So like all the blacked out look. Up here on the fan, you're seeing all aluminum design all the way down to the bottom here. Um, pretty much all aluminum all the way around. So I've seen where they've used plastic on the bottom. This appears to be all aluminum. You do get um, some labeling down here, C minus B plus A. That's just for the routing of where your wires are going. Um, you do have a sensor port way down here on the bottom. And you also have another one that's blocked by a plastic block spacer right up here. And so nice routing options for which way your motor's pointed and ease of installation. You do have a little fan, uh, little plug right there. Fan is removable by these four bolts, but really nice design here. I mean, you can kind of really see the um, time and thought that went into making this very small footprint ESC. Definitely smaller than an, a Tekken RX-8 Gen 2. Um, a lot smaller actually. So uh, very nice design. All these kind of um, heat sinks right up here to dissipate the heat. Very, very nice. Well guys, that's going to be it for my unboxing of the R8.1 Pro. I can't wait to get this thing installed in my new project and I'll get back to you on the performance of it. So, well guys, that's it for now. If you have any comments or questions, please post those on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over now.